is uh, we have pervasive computing, which means that it's everywhere, it's ubiquitous. So there's a new word for most of you probably. Ubiquitous means it's everywhere, it's pervasive. Right? So 20 years ago that wasn't the case much. Right? It really wasn't much, right? 40 years ago, not at all. Not at all. When I was born, not at all. There were there weren't computers really. You know, like not at the grocery store, not in my house, not in my car, not in my washing machine, not in my air conditioner and heater, you know, not you know not at work. You know, there was, when I was born, there was a computer at Fresno State. And that was like the only computer in all of Fresno, probably. Maybe there's one downtown in the city. But I know there's one at State because my dad worked there and some students firebombed it in the late 60s. Right? They threw, threw Molotov cocktails in, into it for some reason. I don't know. They didn't like technology. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so now it's everywhere. You're wearing computers, probably. You're probably wearing a computer if you have a cell phone with you. You're wearing a computer. If you have a wristwatch on, chances are there's digital technology in there. Why, why do I say it's digital? So we're going to learn that next week, why I use the word digital. Um, so pervasive computers, pervasive computing, it's everywhere. That's just something to be aware of. And that isn't the way it's been for all of eternity in the history of our species. It's only in the last 30 years that we've had this, this technology around us. That's pretty amazing. Like, how did the world operate before computers? BC, you know, like, I don't understand it, dude. Like, I was thinking about, like, I went to Home Depot this morning.